I'm excited to introduce improving accuracy of LLM applications built in partnership with Lamni and Meta, taught by Sharon Zhou and Amit Sangani. Many developers have experienced frustration of inconsistent results when working with LLMs. Sometimes the results are just right, while other times they miss the mark. This course will guide you through a development pattern that systematically improves the accuracy and reliability of LLM applications. I'm thrilled to introduce our instructors, Sharon Zhou, who is CEO of Lamini, which provides integrated LLM inference and tuning for enterprises and developers, and is actually a company I've made a seed investment in, as well as Ami Sangani, who is Director of Partner Engineering for the Llama team and Meta. Both are returning instructors who bring a wealth of experience in optimizing LLM applications and using specifically Meta's Llama family of models. Sharon, you work with many customers on building production-ready applications. Can you say a bit more about what you are seeing? Absolutely. Thank you, Andrew. The approach that we found to be most effective starts with creating the initial application, stringing together all the different steps. Then we add in evaluation metrics, or what I like to call evals, to measure performance. After that, we use prompt engineering and self-reflection to encourage the model to perform better. Often, this isn't enough, however, to reach production level quality, so we move on to fine-tuning the model. This involves creating a fine-tuning dataset and iteratively expanding on it. Fine-tuning has become more rapid and affordable with techniques like LoRa. A form of fine-tuning called memory tuning also systematically removes hallucinations and embeds facts in the model weights, a kind of determinism within a probabilistic model. In this course, We'll walk you through all of these steps with the Llama 3 8 billion parameter model on an example application for Texas SQL of a custom schema. That sounds exciting. And Amit, you've obviously worked extensively with the Llama 3 family of models. What can learners expect to see in this course? Thanks, Andrew. I'm excited to be back. In our previous course on prompt engineering with Llama 2 and 3, we focused on how to best prompt these models. Now we are taking advantage of Llama's open source nature to give learners hands-on experience fine-tuning a Llama model. I really appreciate Meta's work on releasing the Llama family of models as open source. And I think what you just shared is an example of the types of work that developers can do almost uniquely on models whose ways are available. This short course will cover both some theory on how to think about building LM applications and the practicalities of hands-on building. We hope you'll join us in exploring these cutting-edge techniques for optimizing your LLM applications. Yep. In fact, I hope you'll be ready to join us and fine-tune your skills with this course.